What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Do you remember how Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw was arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud and money laundering? Because um, now in her latest motion to get the charges dismissed, she claims that the police tricked her into waving away her Miranda rights. And she says, listen, I did not understand the document that I was signing because my contacts were dry. I could not read it. Yes, that is her true and real, um, you know, excuse to try to get everything tossed out in court. I am not joking. It is wild. Just a quick reminder in case any of you guys are not um, North American, but Miranda writes, are your rights to remain silent? She waved those away by signing a document that she did not read. At the end of the day, even if your contacts were dry, Miss Jen Shaw, why did you not just say that? Listen, I cannot read this document. I need my my lawyer president, I can't just sign things in the middle of an FBI national investigation without properly reading them. Why would she do that? Even if her contacts were indeed dry, the whole thing is crazy. So um, she is accusing the police of quote unquote trickery. And she says that they've got a flawed theory of criminality against her with these charges and she wants them tossed out. She is under investigation for how she made her $5 million fortune. And the FBI is claiming that she founded some sort of nationwide telemarketing scam that targeted seniors and tricked them into giving up their moolah. As for why Jen Shaw would even sign the document, she's claiming in her affidavit that she was, and I quote, at this point, very confused and emotionally off balance from the strange series of events and thought that I might have been the victim of a false identification. Well, if that is the case, then again, even more reason to not sign any documents. If I knew that I did not commit a crime and the police, the FBI took me into a room and asked me to sign something, why would I sign it? I'd say, hell no. Who the hell are you? Like, what do you want from me? No, like I've got to talk to an attorney about this. And on top of that, the FBI identify you when they speak to you. They called her Jen Shaw. It's not like they called her somebody else's name. She's like, well, I'm not this other person. So I'm going to shine Jen Shaw and all of this will go away. No, they called her Jen Shaw when they arrested her. This excuse that she's using is just a little bit bizarre. Another interesting thing was that Jen Shaw did not know that she was being recorded when she was in the interrogation room, which was kind of weird. I was like, I thought everybody watched true crime. Like you're always being recorded whenever you speak to the police in the interrogation room. Um, and she's saying that the police officers lied to her. But again, you know, they do have the right to lie to you. So I don't think that that is going to hold up in court. She's like, you know, they told me that they just want to clear up an issue, you know, and this and that, but that is very much par for the course in criminal investigations. The police can and will lie to you. So it's very important to only speak with them after consulting with an attorney. So it's quite shocking to me that that is something that she did not do. She is out on $1 million bail, but um, yeah, this case is going to be going on for quite a while. It's going to be really interesting to see what goes down because it seems as though the FBI has a lot against her. You know, according to page6.com, they have more than 1.3 million, yes, M I L L I O N documents against her that they're claiming prove her guilt in the matter. And so, Jin Shah. Uh, enjoy your freedom while you can, boo. Enjoy your freedom while you can, because in my opinion, there's no way in hell you're escaping jail time. You're going to jail, sis. You absolutely are. This is a very shocking case, um, you know, that they've got against her. One thing that I'm really interested in is whether or not Jen can be a snitch here, because listen, I don't think Jen Shaw is bright enough to pull off a heist of this magnitude. I don't believe that this is 1000% her business and brainchild. I believe that somebody else created this company and had her act as the CEO and face of it to get the majority of the proceeds so that they can get away with their hands clean. Whether or not they live in America is to be seen, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, something came out that she was working for somebody who lived abroad, who contacted her for this scheme. Um, something very interesting. If you're really interested in the story, I recommend you listen to Heather's um, Juicy Scoop podcast because she did a little bit of a deep dive because a lot of people wonder how much Jen's 
attorney, well, former attorney husband, Coach Shaw, knows about the entire situation. And, you know, she connected the dots and it seems as though Sharif had some kind of inkling about Jen's allegedly criminal activities. And he decided to no longer renew his law license in order to not be um, publicly disgraced for knowing about something like this around the same time that Jen launched this company. It's all too convenient. Definitely take a listen to, I, I think her last name is Thompson, Heather Thompson's Juicy Scoop podcast, where she goes in depth about this Jen Shaw FBI investigation and whether or not her husband was aware of her shit shenanigans. Guys, how do you feel about Jen Shaw's excuses to get out of this, you know, national FBI investigation? Sorry, I accidentally signed away my, you know, right to remain silent because I didn't properly read the document that I signed. That sounds like a you problem, sis, not an FBI problem. And then second of all, complaining about, you know, police officers or the FBI lying to her. Again, they legally can. So that, in my opinion, is not going to hold up in court either. I'm really surprised that her lawyers are even trying it with that. And guys, for the FBI to have 1.3 million documents, how long is this trial going to last? 1.3 million documents tying, allegedly tying Jen Shaw to these crimes that she's being accused of. That's a lot, you guys. That's a lot to keep up with. Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.